bring your drawing to top view and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow select parallel I'm gonna draw a square so type L for line command click anywhere on the screen enter 40 millimeters your cursor downward for 40 another 40 to your left and type C to close now I'm gonna draw a circle on the center so type C for circle command right click and shift right click and select mid between two points this midpoint and this midpoint now we are uh, snapping on the center and then enter D for diameter option and enter 6.8 now draw a line from center to the midpoint I'm gonna use trim command to remove this portion here as you can see there is a gap between here to here for eight units so trim enter twice remove this line and adjust this one four units to the left to create a gap and move this grip here to your left for four units And the distance from this point here before the applied fillet and this corner is 4.5 so I'm gonna draw a line from in point downward for 4.5 and to the left another line and the difference of 14 and 8 is 6 divided by 2 so the distance is 3 in point to the left is 3 and upward from this corner to this corner is 2.5 which is this one so line snap that in point move your cursor upward for 2.5 and to the left again which is the distance from this point to this corner here is the difference of 20 and 14 which is 6 divided by 2 is 3 so line in point to your left for 3 units and the distance from this point downward to this uh, midpoint here is 10.5 no 10.25 so draw a line endpoint downward for 10.25 and snap that perpendicular point I'm gonna draw another square and the dimension is 6.4 by 6.4 as shown here and the distance from this line to this line is 1.8 which is the result of which is a difference of 40 and 36.4 divided by 2 so I'm just gonna offset and enter 1.8 click this line click inside click this line and click inside and since the distance or the dimension of the square is 6.4 by 6.4 so i'm going to offset again for 6.4 click this line click inside click this line and click inside now i'm going to clean up by trimming so type tr for trim command in there twice remove that remove this line this line this one here and um, this line now I'm gonna draw another line from the center here I'm gonna delete that line from center and click that uh, in point 
and the distance from this point to this point is 2.55 so I'm just gonna use the calculator all right 2.55 divided by 2 is 1.275 so what I'm gonna do is offset this one so offer offset for 1.275 click this line click here click this line and click here I don't need that anymore so what I'm gonna do now is trim to clean up TR for trim command enter twice just gonna remove this one delete um, delete this one here delete that trim again remove this one remove this two now I'm gonna apply fillet for this corner this corner this one here this uh, here here and here is uh, 0.5 so go to home and inside the modify panel click this uh, fillet go down to the command prompt click radius and enter 0.5 and go back click multiple option and um, click this line click this line and this line this one here and where else this line and this line this one here and this line enter another fillet for 2.5 so repeat fillet radius option and enter 2.5 and click this line and click this line another fillet for this corner here for 1.5 which is the same as here so fillet click radius option enter 1.5 click this line and click this line another fillet for five fillet radius enter five enter select multiple click this line click this line click this line and click this line all right and for here it's the same as this one here and the radii is 2.2 which is this one here and four so fillet radius option enter four click this line here and click this line right click to repeat fillet radius and enter 2.2 click this line and click this line let me check so type in i for mirror command just mirror this portion here specify first point of mirror line so check this or click the center of the circle just move your cursor upward as long as it's straight and select no I'm just gonna delete that for now maybe this one too and mirror this portion so select type MI for mirror command locate center and just bring your cursor si sideways click and select no just gonna delete that now I'm gonna copy this portion and move it to the side I'm just gonna turn off my ortho mode and uh, turn on my polar tracking I'm gonna rotate this one so type RO for rotate command or you can go to the ribbon and click this um, inside the modify panel 
this icon here and then rotate this portion here to 90 degrees and uh, I'm just going to remove this one and this one here. Move from in point to in point and mirror. So type in I for mirror command and mirror this portion. I'm just going to do shift and deselect this one because we don't want that. Deselect this one here. And specify first point more line click this uh, center and move your cursor sideways and select no I miss this one so I, I'm just gonna do the line here there the next thing to do is copy this portion here so type in I for mirror command and just window that portion shift right click to deselect this portion here and this one here is also highlighted deselect and then first point more line click the center move your cursor upward click and select no now i'm just gonna remove this one here delete draw a line from in point to in point and we know the thickness is 1.8 from the outside line so i'm just gonna offset so o for offset command and enter 1.8 click this line and click inside i'm gonna clean up so trim type tr for trim command enter twice remove this one this one here remove this line and remove this line so this portion here is different from the rest this corner here has a um, radius of 0.5 so i'm gonna apply fillet radius enter 0.5 multiple line and this line this line and this line i'm gonna check if everything is clean Maximize this one and turn this around. And inside the modeling panel, select press pull command and just hover over this space here. Once it turns blue, left click, move your cursor upward for about 100 units or so. Maybe rotate this one and hover over the green wheel here and once it turns gold click and just turn this one for 90 degrees there you go move just gonna erase this one apply materials I'm going to select inside the metallic paint. I'm going to select flake reflective beach and just dra drag it here. Close. Go to visualize. Inside lights, click this drop down arrow and adjust exposure setting. Make it lighter. Maybe the color there. And um, turn off the grid. And I think I'm done. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified. And comment below. Thanks for watching. See you again.